First of all, this is GNOME Software 41 Beta, and there are a few UI changes like these new categories banners. Nothing really important though. So, let's jump to installed apps to show you something a little bit better, and let's click to apostrophe maybe? And that carousel aside, we also have some new info panels too. But the one I want to show you the most is the storage, that displays some details even before we open it. Oh, and before I forget again, you see that unified header bar to rest window style? And we can tell it is a header bar because there is a close button. Basically this is kinda new official support on libadwaita and gtk4, and at some point I will upload a dedicated video just for it. For now? This is how it works. That's breathing app made for GNOME and written on GTK4, and it has a unified header bar similar to many elementary apps. If we open the inspector, and select the header bar, on CSS nodes we'll see a flat class. And if we remove this, the header bar will again use the normal styles. This class it is now part of libadwaita, and we don't need custom styles. Super super cool, and yeah, elementary did it first. Anywho, back on main video. So on this panel we can see the app size, but more importantly we can also see the disk size of app data. In this case it is only a few kilobytes, so maybe we should try on something that makes a bit more sense? Perhaps GNOME boxes could be a good candidate, but before, check out how the RPM package doesn't even display a size, when the flat pack shows 720 megabytes. But let's get inside to see a few more things, shall we? We definitely shall! So now we see the size has climbed to 8 gigabytes, and that's because there is an image installed that costs around 7 gigabytes. And most specifically that image is the GNOME OS, which reminds me to thank our today's video sponsor. Of course the feature was already presented on application settings, but having it on software too is a welcome bonus. And more evidences to prove that Ubuntu sucks. You see, the OS tree in Flatpak isn't yet another installation and updating framework. The OS tree is actually a core part of GNOME project, and in reality if you really want to evaluate a GNOME system you should try and test on systems like Silverblue. There is not such thing as GNOME and Ubuntu. Seriously! And meanwhile there is the other thing that troubles both new and experienced Linux users. So where the app physically stores the data? With Flatpak we always know it will be under var and app, in the app domain name. And then we have always three directories, for cache, configs and app data. So normally our GNOME OS image should be under data, and then possibly under GNOME boxes directory. And I'm feeling it we're getting closer. And there we go! Here's our cow image! Can you find where RPM boxes keeps them, without previously already knowing? Good luck! But let's return back to GNOME software for a moment to perform one last action. What if we remove boxes? We'll remove the images too? And if not, shouldn't be an option to remove the app data too? And all the UI misses aside, what's up with that delay to update the view? The one thing people will never forgive. Bad performance. <laughs>